Well, hi, Bobby. I love coming to Comic Cons. One of my favorite things is discovering new artists and new comic books in Artist Alley. So tell us, where did your passion for comic books come from? Were you reading a certain comic and you're like, oh, I got to do this later in life? Or did it kind of come naturally for you? It's, it's an interesting story. I, uh, my brother and I, when we were kids growing up, we, you know, we would buy comics and we'd throw yeah. them in our room. And then, you know, and then one day our mom was like, yeah, clean your room. <laughs> so we cleaned our there. room. We cleaned our room and we found we had a stack of comic books about that high. And then we went to school and then our house burned down while we were at school. Oh, no. And my mom's like, what'd you lose? And we're like, everything. <laughs> She's like, yeah, but I need specifics. So I remembered that stack of comics. I'm like, I had a stack of comic books this high. And I don't know where she went and got them, but she came back with a couple long boxes full of comics for us. Oh. And uh, it was the greatest thing ever. And we've been comic book fans ever since. Wow, yeah. sort of cool. <laughs> what, what, what comic books did you have in that pile? Do you remember? There were some really good ones. There was uh, like the, when Gladstone was reprinting all the Uncle Scrooge stuff. Mm. There was a bunch of those in there. And there was oh, some Indiana good. Jones comics and the Avengers during the, the whole fall of Avengers mm. thing. Where like... Like Namor stabs his wife turns into a big sea monster, and Namor takes the ebony blade and like stabs her. Yeah. And then the Black Knight goes down because the blade is cursed, and like it doesn't <laughs> matter who draws blood with that blade, the Black Knight's going down if it draws blood. And that was just so cool, and like I just, I, yeah, this is after like losing everything, and then you get these suddenly you get a whole box full of cool illustrated adventure stories. It's just. Special. Yeah, it was pretty I great. I love that. So then you and your <laughs> twin brother started your own comics, Twin Comics. Yeah, I explain brother, them. Uh, yeah. He's also a cartoonist, but he prefers to write the books and okay. then I illustrate them. Our first uh, published work was The Night Owls mm -hmm. down here. That was published by Zuda Comics. Peter wrote it. I drew it. And we collaborate cool. a lot on comics. And we're collaborating next on Goblin Hood, which is my other banner over here. What's Goblin Hood about? Explain. Goblin Hood is a reimagining of the Robin Hood legend, but with oh. monsters and fairies and oh, stuff I like, like that. that. Yeah. That's very cool. I think it's cool. I don't know. I'm working on a graphic novel version of it. Mm -hmm. I had some floppies, but I sold them out. Oh, that's a good thing. So, <laughs> yes. cool. So, where can people stay in touch with your website, social media wise, and possibly uh, buy your comics? Twincomics.com is mm -hmm. our website. We post stuff there. And uh, on social media, I'm Bobby Timoney mm -hmm. on Instagram and Twitter. And I think Pete's on. He's on Twitter, and I think he's P. Timoney on Twitter, and he's Timoney Puppets on Instagram, because we have these puppets we take with us everywhere, and we oh, take really? pictures of them. He, he makes the puppets, and he posts the pictures on them. Oh, cool. Do you take them to cons and stuff, interact with people? Yeah. Oh. It's, uh, you should see some of the reactions. I <laughs> bet. People are all like... Well, your, your artwork is amazing, so tell us about your inspiration for that. I love the kind of cartoony, which I like. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing this lately, like uh, at shows. I've been doing a lot of drawings of yeah. cartoon characters. I remember it was a couple years ago at WonderCon, which is right across the street from Disneyland. Oh, yeah. It's right right and, uh, Yeah, and I was freelancing at Disney at the time. Oh, cool. And I was like, well, I'm across the street from Disneyland. Let's. I put it out on Twitter. I was like, who's your favorite Disney cartoon character? And I'll draw it today. And I got a lot of responses. I think I drew like 40 drawings that day. Oh, and, really? And uh, yeah, it's of Disney characters. And people kept buying them. So I was like, oh, wow, this is working out. Did you draw a Darkwing Duck, one of my favorites? I did. I drew him a couple of times. <laughs> Let's get dangerous. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty popular. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. I appreciate it.